Chronic stress. How to get better? Stress is a normal and punctual response of the body to a situation of danger or aggression, but it takes on another dimension when it becomes chronic. Chronic stress can have long-term negative effects on both your mental and physical health. To remedy it, you need to find the cause and find solutions with the help of a doctor or a psychologist. On this channel, we approach health from a global point of view by working on the four pillars of health. Diet, physical activity, mental health and sleep. If you are not yet a subscriber to the Top Fitness Health YouTube channel, consider subscribing and if you want to be notified when a new video is released, consider turning on the little bell. Chronic stress is a prolonged response by the body to an unpleasant or stressful situation. Be aware that stress is not just a feeling, it includes a response from your brain that, in response to the perceived aggression, increases the production of corticoids. This hormone sends signals to the rest of your body and leads to various health consequences. If your stress is continuous and lasts for several weeks or months, it can damage your health. What is the difference between acute and chronic stress? You may feel acute stress because of a specific event, for example, an exam, the completion of a professional project with a tight deadline, participation in a competition. This form of stress is temporary and does not persist once the event is over. This stress can help a person stay alert and achieve his or her goal. When stress becomes permanent, it is called chronic stress. It can occur if you are easily stressed or if you are a normally calm person and you experience a prolonged stressful situation. For example, the health crisis and the confinement may have generated stress in you, because this situation is unprecedented, uncertain and long-lasting. Chronic stress at work and the risk of burnout You may suffer from chronic stress because of your work. This is one of the most frequent sources of stress. It is often a consequence of overwork, and can lead to burnout, also known as professional exhaustion syndrome. For example, if you feel an imbalance between your workload and the resources you have to complete your task over an extended period of time, you may be building up stress. There are several possible causes of work stress, for example, relations with your hierarchy, your work pace, your workload or a lack of autonomy etc. Some jobs can be more stressful than others, especially positions of responsibility or those requiring sustained and continuous effort, such as the restaurant industry. In addition, this may be in addition to more personal difficulties. If you are experiencing stress or burnout at work, you should talk to a health professional and your supervisor. Post-traumatic stress is a prolonged acute stress that is similar to a particular form of chronic stress. You may suffer from it after a traumatic event and feel persistent stress even after the event is over. This form of stress is often characterized by recurrent and intrusive memories of the traumatic event, mood disturbances, sleep disturbances, strong or even violent reactions to stimuli reminiscent of the event, such as loud noises, loss of interest in everyday activities, substance abuse such as alcohol or drugs, or depressive symptoms. What are the symptoms of chronic stress? The symptoms of chronic stress are numerous and vary from person to person. Here is a list of different signals of stress, both physical and mental, that you should watch out for. Insomnia or sleep problems, constant fatigue, stomach aches, headaches, back pain, muscle aches, difficulty concentrating or memorizing information, eating more fatty and sugary foods, loss of appetite, weight fluctuation, mood changes. What are the effects of stress on the body? In addition to the effects you may feel, chronic stress can have unseen longer-term consequences on your health. High blood pressure is one example of the effects of chronic stress. Stress can also lead to other cardiovascular problems, including heart attacks, and respiratory problems such as asthma. It can also lead to musculoskeletal disorders or mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. 
By increasing cortisol levels, chronic stress can also cause a rise in blood sugar levels that can lead to diabetes. Is chronic fatigue a symptom of stress? If you are chronically stressed, you may feel a kind of continuous, rather intense fatigue, and feel like you are never rested enough. This can affect your well-being and impact your daily tasks, especially if it is accompanied by difficulties in concentrating or remembering. This is a symptom that is often found in overworked people. You must react quickly to avoid what is called burnout. Consult a doctor as soon as possible in order to find solutions to your chronic stress. What pain can be caused by stress? In times of stress, you may also experience certain physical symptoms. These signals sent by your body alert you to your psychological state. These may include acute stomach aches, migraines, muscle aches and tension. You may also suffer from digestive problems. Sometimes pain can also affect other parts of the body. If your chronic stress leads you to have an anxiety attack, you may feel worrying pain, especially in the chest. This is accompanied by fear and a sense of imminent danger, but also an inability to regain control. Once the anxiety attack is over, all these symptoms disappear. If you have already experienced this type of sensation, you should quickly talk to a doctor to avoid recurrences and find a treatment. This is no longer a sign of chronic stress but rather a sign of anxiety that can develop into a generalized anxiety disorder. How to cure chronic stress? You are afraid of suffering from chronic stress and you wonder what to do? The first thing to do is to talk about it around you, you must not isolate yourself. It is then important to talk about it to your doctor, who will be able to determine the best therapeutic approach. If necessary, he or she can refer you to a psychologist or psychiatrist. Several solutions can be considered to treat your chronic stress. Therapy, a time-limited medication approach, a lifestyle change through improved diet, regular physical activity, relaxation or meditation exercises. All of these elements can be combined to fight chronic stress and bring you a lasting solution. However, medication is not always necessary to treat chronic stress. They can be prescribed if the patient is in great difficulty, and their use will be limited in time. What are the different treatments for chronic stress? There are also different types of therapies that can help, cognitive behavioral therapy, neuro-linguistic programming, NLP which is a set of techniques aimed at changing our behavioral patterns and even sophrology based on breathing and relaxation. What are the natural solutions against chronic stress to cure chronic stress? You can put in place certain habits, in addition to a therapeutic follow-up, which will help you to better manage your stress on a daily basis. To do so, you must eat a balanced diet at a fixed time, practice regular physical and sports activities, Take care of your sleep, sleep more, avoid screens in the evening, eat lightly before bedtime. If the stress comes from work, you must find a way to improve your working conditions, take more breaks, not overload yourself and talk to your hierarchy to prevent it from persisting. These tips against chronic stress can be complemented with the use of natural treatments. For example, you can try acupuncture or phytotherapy, which are sometimes used as remedies for chronic stress. Bach flower remedies are often recommended to regulate mood and to remedy chronic stress or anxiety. Who to consult in case of chronic stress? In case of chronic stress, you can start by consulting your doctor or a psychiatrist who will be able to evaluate the situation. Some doctors can give you a chronic stress test. If necessary, you will be referred to a psychiatrist or psychologist for therapy. Please note that a psychiatrist is a doctor who can prescribe medication. However, we do not recommend that you try to diagnose yourself or find a treatment for chronic stress by consulting websites or forums. In the case of intense or prolonged stress, medical or therapeutic treatment is preferable. Dealing with stress is not only a question of well-being, but also of physical and mental health. What are the solutions for treating stress? 
Getting rid of stress altogether is an illusion since it can be very useful in certain situations. However, learning to better understand and manage your stress allows you to keep only the positive and constructive aspects. To better manage stress on a daily basis, it is necessary to be physically and mentally fit, to have a balanced diet and to avoid stimulating drinks such as coffee, tea, sweetened drinks, alcohol or energy drinks. It is important to favor foods rich in proteins, based on whole grains, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, and antioxidants such as fruits and vegetables. Sleep about 8 hours per night in a quiet, dark environment, with a temperature between 18 and 20 degrees, avoiding screens at least one hour before bedtime. Regular physical activity to reduce stress hormones, such as a half-hour brisk walk, jogging or cycling, as well as stretching. Other natural solutions are possible to reduce the response to stress such as relaxation techniques like meditation, sophrology or hypnosis and acupuncture, breathing techniques like cardiac coherence or abdominal breathing as well as yoga, phytotherapy with soothing plants like chamomile, passion flower or valerian, essential oils, homeopathy, acupuncture, if you are not yet a subscriber to the Top Fitness Health YouTube channel, consider subscribing and if you want to be notified when a new video is released, remember to activate the little bell. See you soon for more videos. And until then, take care of yourself.